What's up, Lunker League? So I want to discuss the coronavirus shutdown in California a little bit further because I got some interesting feedback on my last video where people were saying that my title was clickbait. Very interesting. Now, if you looked at the title, it said closed with a question mark, meaning is it closed? And to some degree, who does it affect? Not clickbait, but you should just read a little bit. Or they have Gavin Newsom on YouTube or on the news, and you can see these things for yourself. Or you could go to your local website and you'll find out that indeed our parks have been closed to all vehicular traffic. Well, what, what does that mean? Sure, if you're a bank angler, you've always been a bank angler, and that's all you do, you still have your access. Yes, indeed. But we know California is a very large state, holding millions of people. And so it turns out that there are people who don't bank fish, that strictly fish from a boat, some that enjoy using their kayak, or other flotation device that requires a trailer or vehicle transport, which means that to them, they've been affected and it is closed. If you have a fiberglass boat, 17 foot up, no, you're not gonna drag that down the side of a trail and launch your boat. To you, to them, it is closed. People are being affected by this. And in our fishing community, we should be far more compassionate to that. For example, this past weekend when I was out, there was a young man fishing with his grandmother, elderly grandmother. She will not be fishing from the bank, which means when this shutdown of vehicles happens, she will not be fishing. It is effectively closed to her. So let's be careful in what we do. Let's watch a little bit of news. Uh, let's hit the internet. Let's hear California State Parks temporarily closes all campgrounds. And here, yes, trails for people who are bank fishers, sure. We still have access to a degree on many of our lakes. And that is a good thing. But the truth is the parks are closed to vehicular traffic, which affects a vast amount of anglers, period. So I want to go ahead and give you that update at the beginning of this video. Uh, be careful what you call clickbait. Do a little bit of research first and we're going to go ahead and get into uh, my video i'm going to go ahead and leave the the intro i had on there because i filmed it before the shutdown but even then you can see that i had concerns that it was coming so for all my local league that stays true love you appreciate you and let's go ahead and get into the video <laughs> Lunker League. So it's been crazy out here amongst this whole social distancing for the coronavirus. It seems like now everybody's out fishing. So watch yourself. There's a lot more traffic out here than it seems like in other places. So you want to be careful. It's put a lot of pressure on the fish as well. But besides all that, I want to give a shout out to my Lunker League. I want to say I love y'all, man. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching me. Thanks for giving that advice. I want you to definitely stay tuned. We're going to be moving around a lot in a few little different areas in familiar places because around here, they got a lot of stuff locked down. So there's a lot of places we can't go. So you are going to see me in some different spots 
but right around in the same areas, and we're gonna get after these bass. So let's go. Man, the boaters are out here thick, let me tell you that. That's a trip. I thought there would definitely be some over here. We're gonna get over here and do something different, guys. Folks, first fish of the morning. All right. So here we go, folks. First little fish of the morning. Right off those reeds there. All right, folks. Let me show you this right here. Let's get them back in. Folks, we're gonna get back in here, see what else we got. There we go, folks. Number two. Number two, folks. All right. All right, here we go, folks. Good hook set right in the top of the mouth. Let's go ahead. Little guy, though. But let's let him go. Get a rock. All right. Oh, that's the best one yet, guys. Oh, that's the best one yet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Not a bad one. All right. 
All right, folks, let's take a look again. So far, the best one of the day. Let's go ahead and get it back. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and get another one here. folks got another one here not too big another little guy right. you guys see that you see those red eyes there beautiful fish go ahead and get it back in Did you look at that? Is that my worm right there? It sure is. Let's not leave that in the water for them to get used to. All right. So let's get back out here. Let's get back out here. We got a slight little rain going on. Got overcast. I think all that is helping contribute to the bite. All right. Another one. Ooh, he's pulling. All right. Much better. This is a nicer one too, guys. Ooh, check that out. See, so you use what works. Not just what you like. No, I'm not in love with the morning dawn with the chartreuse tip. It's what was working. Today, this is what's working. So this is what you use. All right. All right, folks, take a look again. All right, cool, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and get it back. It's clear water. All right, so overcast day. Let's get back out here. Let's see what's going on. All mm, I got bit. Let me take a look, guys. Let me see what I got. Oh yeah, he got me. I have to be honest, man, I don't dig these hooks at all. I think these hooks cause me a lot of issues. So I'm gonna switch this worm out real quick. 
and then we get right back over there. I, I gotta tell you, man, I think these hooks cost me a lot of bites. <laughs> yeah, that's a bass. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that wasn't... Huh? Ah. All right. Man, these these hooks. I don't even know what to say. All right. Ah, oh, you're just a little guy at that. Ah, all right. Ah, so first one over here to bite is just a little guy. So we're gonna go ahead and get him off. Ooh, can I get you in the tongue? Glad I didn't get you in the gill though. All right, so just a little one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get it back. <laughs> 